Taste the mystery sounds. Take one. Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. This is Melanie from melodramaticmommy.com and I've got a lot of information to share with you tonight. This is my first video in the 2010 Tastemakers Challenge. This is a Potato Celebrate National Seafood Month. And what I wanna do show you guys tonight is uh, we're decided to have a party, and not just any party. Uh, we chose a movie night theme for our party. So I wanted to walk you through how I planned uh, my movie night and walk you guys through the decorations and a bunch of other stuff. So in case you ever wanted to have a movie night party of your own, uh, you've got some tips and some ideas. So the first thing, uh, of course, if you're going to have a party, you've got to have an invitation. This is one that uh, I put together myself. I looked online and found a couple templates, and I didn't like them too much, so I modified this one. But uh, this is one that I created to look a bit like a movie ticket. And you can do this um, two on a page so that you could print it uh, on maybe cardstock if you wanted to go the old school way and send this out by mail. So two up, send that out, print that out. Of course, there are plenty of other electronic sites that you could do uh, that will keep with the movie night theme, but sometimes I like to be a little bit old fashioned and go the snail mail way and let my guests know that we're having a special occasion. Uh, so the next thing I did after I did my invitations is think about how I wanted the decor to be. And I chose black, red, and silver as the colors for my party. Um, and what I started with is I wanted to cover the back wall in the house um, because it's purple normally and it wouldn't have gone with my color scheme. So what I did really simply is I went to the 99 cent store and I bought three plastic tablecloths, covered the table, the wall with the tablecloths. And then with these, this is poster board that I glued some silver wrapping paper on and then I cut out the star shapes and hung them from the ceiling at varying heights. Now, one thing I thought about doing here um, was framing out this black panel, either with maybe some uh, Christmas garland, some silver garland, or possibly even balloons. And then what you could do is say you have a movie poster for what you're showing for the evening. You could put a movie poster and frame that out there in the black. You could possibly put your menu of what you're having there in the night. Or um, say you're having an Oscar party. Switch the silver out for gold and then maybe get a giant Oscar cut out to go in there. So there's a lot of different things you could do uh, with decorations, but I kind of decided to keep it simple. I was um, working within uh, a budget, so you can either go up, go down uh, with, your, with your decorations and with your schemes. So that's what I did. I like to have the stars there. I think it came out really cute. <laughs> and the next thing that I did after I looked at the, uh, the decorations was how I wanted my tablescape to be laid out. And I put, um, uh, same thing again, I put a black tablecloth here, and then I did a red piece of felt down the center as a runner, and that's got the look of kind of like a red carpet, so I put that there. And since it's a movie night, you can't have movies without popcorn, so I have um, the main feature of the table was this popcorn machine, and these can be rented at plenty of party places, or rent these. This one actually came, um, I believe from Costco, but you can rent something like that and have fresh popcorn going throughout the night. And I thought it would be good to give my guests two different kinds of popcorn. I've got a plain one and then I have a buttered one and found these popcorn seasonings. I've got a butter and a cheddar, but there's plenty of those, something that they could sprinkle on. And I also found this at the 99 cent store with the drizzle tip. I thought it'd be good to get some melted butter to leave in here so that the guests could butter up their popcorn as much as they like and make it a little bit more personal. Then I also got some kind of typical movie snacks. You know, I got, uh, these are some Mike and Ike's and gummies, and of course you can't have a movie without uh, some licorice and pretzels. So I put those things out um, for your guests and they can take those at will. And then uh, for the main food, and since this was um, an evening thing and I didn't want to do dinner, I kind of wanted to do a buffet. I wanted people to be able to stay seated and watch the movie, I decided to do finger foods, appetizers in particular. So the first one that I have here, these are uh, individual salmon tarts, really simple to make. I think they took about half an hour in the oven. So you've got these uh, fresh salmon tarts and these were made with um, wild salmon, but you could probably do smoked salmon, any, any type that you want. So this is uh, salmon tarts. And then here we've got salmon stuffed new potatoes. Um, bought these baby potatoes, which I think are just absolutely adorable. Cut the tops off hollow them out. This is a little bit of salmon with some cream cheese and some other herbs, dill and uh, I think some onion. Put those in there. 
And then this one I had, um, I actually had this as an appetizer when I was out one night and I wanted to try to recreate it. This is a mashed potato pizza. I did half broccoli and cheddar and bacon and then the other half is just mozzarella, parmesan and bacon. Um, so don't worry if you guys are thinking that you wanted to do something like this. I'm going to have the recipes um, linked on my website, which is again is melodramaticmommy.com. So we've got our decorations and we've got the popcorn and we have our appetizers. And one thing that I found again, and a lot of everything that you see here was bought from the 99 cent store, again, trying to keep the party on a budget. I found these popcorn containers and you can do one of two things or both. Uh, give these as a take home favor and put some popcorn movie type treats in these and then every guest can leave with one of these as a little thank you for coming. Or just leave them on the table and then each guest can use them throughout the night to keep filling up their treats. And one thing that I like to do to keep the cost of a party down is ask people to bring their own beer and wine since that can be such a personal choice. But I did want to offer something for my guests tonight. so. I thought uh, in an evening, especially now that we're coming up on fall and winter, I thought hot chocolate would be good to have. So this way I've got this hot chocolate machine. I can leave this out throughout the night and of course the kids will leave it plain and they can sprinkle it with marshmallows and the adults can kick theirs up a little bit if they'd like. So um, I, hope, I hope that's a good start for you if you're ever thinking about having your own movie themed party. Uh, again, all the recipes from the appetizers are going to be on my website, melodramaticmommy.com. And I hope your movie night is a success. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.